In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to make these mirror effects inside of After Effects. Hey guys, it's Ross from Flatpak FX here, and welcome back to another tutorial in our travel video series. Now I wanna share with you a really quick and easy mirroring technique that you can do inside of After Effects. Now, as you can see, this is a really simple technique, but it can have a dramatic impact on your video. Now I wanna share with you a really quick and easy tip that I've picked up on how to get the most out of this effect. Now, the first thing I've done is just imported my three video files here that I'm going to work with. Now, the best part about this is you can use any video files to do this effect, but this effect will apply drastically different results to each of your clips. Now, just before we move on, I make weekly tips and tricks videos just like this one. So if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss out. Now I'm currently traveling around New Zealand working on a travel video effects series. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of those up and coming videos. So I've got my first clip here. And what I'm going to do is just right click and create a new composition from selection. Now I just want to select the part of the clip that I've shot here and I want to use. So I'm going to use this part of the clip here. And then here, I'm just going to split this layer by coming up to edit and down to split and just delete that back end part. And then with my video file selected, I'm going to come over effects and presets. Now, if yours is not there, come over to window and then make sure effects and presets is selected. Now, the great thing about this effect is that it's a drag and drop built-in feature inside of After Effects. So once I've searched for it, I can simply just drag and drop it straight onto my footage. Now, at the moment, it's not actually going to do anything. So we need to mess around with a few settings here. Now, the first thing I want to do is actually drag this little circle into the middle of my screen. Now, as I do that, you can see that it's already applied that mirror effect into the middle of my video. So if I turn that on and off, you can see that it's mirroring what's happening on the other side of my footage. Now, the other thing I can do here is if I actually change the reflection angle, so say I move this all the way over to 90 degrees, it's actually going to reflect what's on the top part of my video. Now, if I move this up and down, I can also make adjustments and you can mess around with that just depending on the look that you're actually going for. So in this case, I'm just gonna leave this as zero because I just want it to mirror the other side of my video here. So that's one really simple way to use this feature. You can just drag and drop it straight onto your video footage. But I wanna share with you a technique that I use with this effect to get the most interesting sort of shots out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new video here. So I'm gonna select my next shot. I wanna go new comp from selection. And again, I'm just going to select a part of the video that I'm going to use. So maybe just this part here, just when it comes into focus and then run it to about here. So I'm just going to split this layer again. Just hit N on my keyboard to create an out point. Now, the first thing I want to do with this clip is I actually want to slow it down. So what I'm actually going to do is right click, come up to time and enable time remapping. Now, what I want to do is just create a keyframe here at the start and maybe halfway through here, I'm going to create another keyframe and I want to drag this one out and that's just going to slow our video right down here. The other thing I want to do is just enable frame blending. And if I double click this, that'll enable frame blending and make the video a lot smoother. Now, instead of just drag and dropping the mirror effect straight over this video, what I actually want to do is first create a new adjustment layer. Now, what we're going to do is actually drag and drop this mirror effect onto that adjustment layer. Then, I'm going to move this across into the middle. And at the moment, we're not actually going to notice any difference. It would be exactly the same as just drag and dropping that mirror effect onto that video file underneath. But what we're actually going to do to make this even better is we're actually going to then grab our video layer and start moving it off to the side of the screen. Now, as we do this, you can see that we start to get a much more interesting angle because it's now starting to mirror the edge of our video rather than mirroring the middle of our video. So now you can see we have a much more interesting shot just by applying the effect in a different way. Now, just to give you a little bit more insight on how this is actually working, if I turn off this 
adjustment layer and just applied the mirror effect to that video layer, you can see the mirror effect only is applied within the video constraint. So the edge of the video is here, I can't display it any further. Now you could just create a pre-composition, but I find with doing it this way, that you can actually mess around and change it much more easily because it's all within the one composition. Now, the great thing about this, I can simply just take another video and just copy that in. And if I drag that underneath, you can see it automatically applies that same mirror effect to that layer underneath. And that's because it's on an adjustment layer. So everything underneath that will automatically be affected. Now I love effects that are so simple to use, but offer great impact on your final product. Now the best part about this is that this effect is built inside of After Effects, which means that we're not gonna have to spend hours making this effect from scratch. We can do it all inside of After Effects. So there you go guys, I hope you got something out of this video. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more After Effects tutorials over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.